Hi YouTube, today we have a special unboxing. We will be unboxing not one, but two Prism Plus monitors. Okay, today we will be unboxing the Prism Plus Productivity Curve monitors. On your right is the Prism Plus C240 series, and on your left is the bigger brother, the Prism Plus C270 series. And let's see what's inside. Well packed, protected on both sides, you can see. Let's lift this and see what's inside. Okay, now we're taking off from the styrofoam box. Let's see what's inside the whole package. First, you have the panel itself, a power plug, a stand, The menu has some additional wires. So the good thing is the, they provide a HDMI wire for your use. You have the menu and some screws for you to fix up the monitor. Base for the monitor itself. Okay, as for the monitor, uh, it comes with instructions on what not to do. So, you turn it around. There are actually some instructions there to, how, to tell you how to handle this uh, monitor. So basically, you're not supposed to press on it and you're trying, uh, you should hold it at the bottom instead of the side. So we'll go ahead and Try to fix this monitor. Okay, before we do so, just to show you the connection point for this particular moni monitor. So these are the connecting points that you have with the monitor itself. So what you have is the HDMI. You have a VGA input, a headphone jack output, and the power itself. Uh, this particular model doesn't come with speakers so that's why you have the audio out if you do need speaker connection in addition if you do notice there are some buttons over here these are for your menu buttons your up and down your exit power button your power bot button as well as an LED indicator so here's a closer look okay next thing we'll do is we'll try to fix up the monitor stand so you just simply fix this into the hole once it's in you turn it clockwise okay. and you have to put a screw on it to secure it Now well, the next thing to do is to attach the monitor to the stand itself and this will be a simple process you just simply attach the stand to this hole over here okay let's do it hear the click sound and there you go it's fixed so it can be fixed up in just two easy steps. First is to attach the uh, stand itself and then attach the monitor to the stand. The setup is now complete. If you are attaching your monitor to the visa mount, there's actually visa mount available. Screws are provided as well. This is a C270. We'll be doing a quick unboxing for this and later on we'll be talking about features of both of them. As you can see the box is slightly different configuration from the C240. There are actually some extra brackets here. Let's take it out and show it to you. So this one. And 
This is the other one. You have the power. It comes since it's sold in Singapore, it comes with a three pin plug. Okay, unlike the C240, it doesn't come in one whole package. Instead, the styrofoam box is separated. Out comes the monitor, which is already standing on its own. Okay. Oh, it's the stand without a stand itself. And there's also a package here. So the menu is included. The visa screws for visa mount. There's also additional HDMI cables. And last, some screws for you to mount your monitors. Okay, let's take a look at the monitor itself. So again, it comes with a specific instruction on how to handle a monitor. So it's a curved cap monitor, so make sure you don't press on it. And uh, be careful when you're holding it, otherwise uh, you might crack the screen. So, as you can see, this is slightly different. The ports are all hidden. And uh, access to the ports is actually on the bottom. So you have the HDMI monitor, the VGA, headphone jack, as well as the power so again this uh, c 2 series does not come with a built-in speaker and for the mounting of the monitor you need to take this out to fix the stand first so there's a quick clutch here let's press it down and you can easily remove it so for the monitor stand we just fix it in and there are supposed to be screws for you Drop one screw in. Screw it. And you're done. Now we'll be fixing this to this. We should be putting it in line with this. So this is how the back view looks like. And this is how the front view looks like. So there's a slot here for screw. So simply just screw it in. Okay, and you're done. Next you attach the stand to the monitor and it is good to go. They are both curved monitors. The main difference that is that the C270 is much larger than the C240. And the second difference, obvious difference, will be the stand itself. For the C270, it comes with a round stand which takes up a bit more real estate on the uh, desk itself. Whereas the uh, C270 comes with a slicker V-shaped stand. And the third difference would of course uh, be the connection itself. For the C240, connectivity is found at the back. And for the C270, the connection will be at the bottom of the monitor itself. Connection, number of connection is the same. Uh, for both the C240 as well as the C270. So let's talk a little bit more about the exterior of the Prism Plus C series monitor. As you can see, this is a curved sheet monitor. So it has a 1500 hour curvature immersion. So unlike the uh, normal curved series, which is about 1800, R, this 1500R will make the whole screen more immersive when you're looking at it. So there'll be less uh, heat turning and you can see everything at one glance. This is more apparent uh, for the bigger C270. 
Another thing to note is that you can actually adjust the tilt for both monitors if need to. Okay, one thing we also notice from this monitor is the lack of bezel. So you can see the bezel is almost at the edge of the monitor. It's probably about 1 to 2 mm thick, which is very thin on three sides of the monitor and uh, estimate about three, 2 to 3 mm thick on the bottom. It is the same for the C270 series as well. This means that the monitor need not be bulky and once the screen is turned on, the effects will be gorgeous. The monitors are also built with an adjustable blue light emission and a flicker-free panel. Okay, next we'll be doing the video quality comparison between the Prism Plus C240 and the C270. The specs for both are similar. Both have 75Hz refresh rate and uh, have a resolution of 1920 by 1080 making them both Full HD monitors. The only difference is that the C270 has 120% gamut volume whereas the C240 has 100% gamut volume so that means the Prism Plus C270 uh, theoretically will give a better color quality we're now playing an audio clip on both um, I like the colors on the C270 better it's a little bit uh, more vibrant compared to the C240 due to the C270 120% color gamut both monitors uses A plus grade Samsung panels, ensuring top quality in the display. The C240 retails for Sing dollars one hundred and ninety nine, whereas the C270 retails for Sing dollars two hundred and eighty nine. In terms of value for money, both are priced considerably cheaper than competitors with similar specs. If money is not an issue. The C270 will be a better option for its larger screen and more vibrant colors. In terms of appearance, the C270 looks slicker with the V-shaped stand versus the C240 over-shaped stand. Okay, so now that marks the end of our unboxing and re mini review of the Prism Plus C240 and the C270. If you are looking for a comparison between the 4 inch and 27 inch monitor, um, the 27 inch monitor uh, will definitely be the one to uh, go for. Price wise, uh, it's less than $100 more expensive than the C240, but in terms of the size as well as the quality, the C270 uh, will beat uh, the C240 hands down. Thank you, Present Plus, for sponsoring this video. Do remember to hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.